Hey there, welcome to this video. A few weeks ago, Odd Profit made a video about Tout and its layering. And I thought I could show my version, my process of doing it, um, because I've um, had some fun results in the past couple of weeks. And yeah, let's dive into the project or into the song, what it sounds like. So this is basically the first phrase of the drop and there's a bunch of stuff going on. So first we have this main layer going on, which is a face and patch. I um, imported a um, really, really long file into the granular section of face plan. Uh, and the file is basically this one right here, uh, just some random sound design bits I made with, um, with the hyper chorus back from which I write and a few other um, effects. And yeah, I've got these weird sounding sounding uh, bits right here. And these were imported into the granular section of Faceplant. And then I've had this really, really long file uh, going on. And I played around with the cranes and everything. Added the and bass track from Nesco, which is pretty, pretty good. And um, yeah, added lots of processing like face distortion, um, ring modding, convolvers, uh, really, really lots of stuff, filters, um, and more convolvers, <laughs> disperser, fetturator. And yeah, I thought it sounding pretty, pretty decent. <laughs> and yeah, but that's um, really, really raw. Nothing special. And yeah, it's all about the layering which comes after. So then we have this really, really um, yeah, snappy transient layer. And I've also used the device Thorn by iFeature, which is free. You can get it on his Patreon. And it's basically a transient shaper. Without and with. Yeah, much more punch and um, sharper. And we have this collision layer. I learned this trick from Akuma on her Patreon. Uh, basically, yeah, just the corpus thing, but um, as a synth, which is called collision, which is part of um, yeah, serum. And it's yeah, adding some uh, tonal character to it and also some um, yeah, more depth to the sound. Then we have um, another layer going on, this one, which is basically just um, a bit from a huge file. Um, I can show it to you really quick. Yeah, that's basically this file and I've uh, skimmed through it and um, yeah, found this pretty, pretty nice piece here and added lots of, lots of processing to it. Um, let me disable it really quick. Oh. Without it sounds like this. And with the processing it sounds like this. And then we have another layer going on, this one. With other processing and wood. And a final layer. <laughs> this one, which is pretty, pretty noisy, but it adds um, energy to it. I think I will probably remove some of the harshness later uh, when I continue the song, but um, yeah, it's working currently. All in all, we have this group going on uh, with lots of group processing as well, some compression and. Um, and that's uh, basically the main layers. So this one combined with this one. And it's sounding pretty good. And because I've used this really, really long file with the sound design bits, I was able to do variations all the time by just skimming through, uh, through the file and finding cool parts which uh, might fit. And it um, yeah, makes sure you have um, variations going on, which is pretty, pretty fun. Yeah, and that's basically the main song. I've also used some other uh, filler sounds, like this one, for example. And also this one, right? Oh, no, this one, not this one. I think it comes later, yeah, it's in this section right here, which is a, a serum patch I made, um, basically just sine waves and uh, process in a weird way, 
with a reverb filter and some uh, staircase LFOs and some LFOs uh, going on on the um, yeah, course pitch and the octaves which are moving around and the frequency shifter this purser and yeah some some other processing um okay this area yeah uh, without it sounds like this okay you you okay it's even <laughs> it's not playing without the processing i don't know why but yeah i think you get the point with the processing it's something like uh, like this that's a fun sound to, to lay on top. And that's the most important part. Um, all the different layers um, do different things. Like, for example, you have the transit layer, which is enhancing the, the punchiness of the of the tear-out guns. Um, or tear-out bases. I wouldn't call them typical guns. They're rather some yeah, crazy uh, random bases. Um, we have tonal layers. We also have these um, weird layers with the, with the high end or with the noise, uh, which are adding texture to it and also um yeah um making the sound come alive of course you have to mix those sounds properly by curing them and uh, making sure nothing overlaps too crazy but all in all it's a um, contribution of other sounds uh, which are yeah, making the sound so full <laughs> And later on, for the second part of the drop, I did a variation. Uh, we have basically just um, changed the LFO inside of the um, inside of the other faceplant patch, and I just changed some other parameters and got to create a different different sound. And yeah, of course, I've also used some other sounds uh, to fill the empty spaces, like this one, for example. Just um, apart from the sound design uh, session I did on uh, this one. And also some, some, some growls, like this one, for example. And one layer I forgot is this one right here, which was also coming from the long sound design session, I think. Uh, yeah. And, or another sound design session, I can't remember exactly. I stretched it a tiny bit and I uh, gated this uh, to the main sound, the faceplant patch I showed earlier. So every time the faceplant patch is um, hitting, this sound is also playing. Uh, and you, you, can, you can see it here with the gate, where it's just following um, the, the rhythm, the pattern of the sound. And it's also adding some depth to the uh, main sound. It's um, yeah, doing the, the tonal part. Um, yeah, I hope you could learn something from this quick little um, tutorial about layering. Let me know if you want to learn something else from me. Um, let me know if I should do more tutorials and um, draw more stuff. Um, thanks for watching. I'd really appreciate if you um, give this video a thumbs up. This would help me out a lot. And yeah, see you in the next video or in the next stream. And have a great day and bye bye.